going to be an interesting point. We're going to see what different class up setups we're going to have as well. Are we going to have anybody sneaking in the back? We're going to have some dual blades. Van Blade, we know, does a dual blade very well. Might actually do that. He might be uh, sneaking in the back when he gets a chance on the attack. Don't know what he's going to do for the defense, but we'll wait and see here. There we go. As you see, all the units are select being, being selected at the moment. On the attack, <coughs> plenty of short swords. Plenty of short swords. We've got three pole axes. The rest short swords. Two mauls. Couple of range, so you've got some muskets in there, and then Turtle Von Shell, love the name, is going to be our pike player on the team of Banished. On on defense, you have Maul, some uh, one long sword in there, a couple of short swords, some glaives, which is nice to see some glaives in there. Glaives don't get used so often, but they ha can have a really major boost in power. And then when it comes to units wise, we are palace guards. You are seeing some these monastics. You're getting some palace guards, palace guards, grey hairs, yep, definitely some uh, imperial arquebusiers. <coughs> I'm sorry, Senji grenadiers, my bad. And you've got some javelins in place and some as well, so that's going to be interesting on the attack. Um, couple of, there's a lot of range, some falconettes there from Tips uh, Tappy on the on the bottom there, you can see you've got some shield maidens as well being used and some modal IPGs and Fort Brasho as we were expecting You'll on like the defense. Yo Campbell, thank you for the follow buddy, welcome to the, the clan, I appreciate it. So here we go guys, we're going to get right into the swing of things, we will get to see my face after this battle guys. Please sit back, relax and enjoy, we'll get to see Banish versus Slavs, this is game one of round six. Here we go. So the normal things that are happening guys, we're getting people taking out the artillery and the both siege towers being pushed at this point in time. Far left siege tower isn't being pushed this current time, but a lot of people just making sure they take all the walls down, take all the artillery down and they set up here at gate. They're going to get some units set up to stop anybody coming out from the defensive side at the gate here. Well, all three siege towers. I'm surprised they didn't actually push the B C tower at this point in time. You'd expect them to have done that, actually, I'm surprised. Just as a as another way up, you know, just to kind of keep them occupied, keep the defense thinking what, what could be and what could happen. Um, you've got some Scorpios getting fired here from Banished over into the back here. And as a as in a field view, you've got Marco just making sure that the B siege tower isn't being pushed, but Dam can look Damian looks like he's gonna send a unit over there to push that. Little siege tower in the, the corner here. I, I've never been a fan of attacking this A point because it can be a, a, a really difficult push, especially on sieges. What's it going to be like with a 15, fa uh, 15 man stack of guys that know what they're doing here? It's going to be really interesting. We're going to see who could win this battle. We're going to, we're going to check up a little prediction here as well. Get your, get your prediction in. We've got a two minute prediction guys, Banish versus Slavs, who will win? Body Fest is the first to die, Simca picking up the first kill of the battle. And we did not mean that, pushing the wrong buttons here. Oh my god, what is going on with these buttons? Did they change them around? What the world? It's been a while guys, that's, that is, uh, that's the joys of not doing it for a while. As you can see, Kurium is pushing up the left siege tower here, Cosmin Born Lurk with some units in here, and what we can see, a good setup of units going up on the left siege tower. Right siege tower has not made managed to make it. The B siege tower will be up there in just a second here. Though Damian has sent his units up, and he's coming up himself as the short sword. Will he go do something sneaky here in the back? Damian, if he's quick enough, can get down there, start capping B, and co totally confuse him in the back here. Van Blade defending this far left siege tower. Scorpio is still hitting some units here, but Damian's going to make an opportunity. 
ever. Is he going to come around the back here? Well, all of the team is not paying attention. Marco might have picked it up. No, he hasn't. Damian's going to get a couple of free caps here on B. He's on B currently. Are we going to see a change of players switching? Damian has bought, got body fest coming for him. The Polax is going to come make his way to fight him, but also Marco as well. So you're getting two of the team from Slavs going out to stop Damian. Damian's got quite a good push on it. Daddy Forrest picks up a kill here. Sailing gets killed. Broken Vortex also dies here to DJ's units. But the push is coming in while the B was being capped. You've got Damian holding as long as possible. And he's still capping in that corner there. Well, the push comes in from Banish. They're pushing down the wall. There's a lot of Senji grenadiers going off. Lots of grenades being thrown. But the Scorpio is also smacking in there from the Banish push. Couple of heroes falling down in the Banish sides. But 15 trebs still available. And it looks like the push is when in favour of the Slavs. They are pushing them back down the Sage Tower as things stand. Their units are pushing back up here. And it looks like Turtle Von Cell also falls his death. Deja Vu died to Anne Frank's unit. But the Treb comes in and it's just a little bit too late. As you can see, some of the heroes just trying to distract some units. Stop people down there and players down in the back. But at the top here, the units that are fighting here at B is just Marco killing off the units that were there. Modals and Marco stays and grabs a point. There's still one unit left on there. But Deja Vu falls here. Daddy Forge, Marco Damian... It's been killed by Marco. You've got a lot of the Slab Boys now out of position. There is only one unit there. It would need a really quick push here up of the stage tower to take out this Imperial Spear Guard. They also have Alchemists in there as well, guys. Their Alchemists are in the battle. Or at least it looks like it this way. But There's definitely a big green light ring around that there. And I don't know where that's coming from. Unless that was a long sword heel that we are getting to see on the screen. The long swords doing it. Ariana is died. Daddy Forbes dies. Where is this push coming in from the B push? You've got a big push coming in from the B. We're going to have to go zoom out here because we've got two pushes in two different directions. Anne Frank's coming in. Anne Frank with the cav around in the, s the center here. Trying to distract as many players off. Barco is fighting down on the supply point with Broken Shell in the supply point down here with Born Lord. But lots of players from Banished are fully committing that supply point in the back here. Lots of the boys from Slavs are going to have to rotate out here. But Javelin Sergeants from Damian are taking out some of the units slowly but surely while the Longsword Galahad is trying to heal them in the back. Back. B is being picked up from Simcat in the background here as well. Well, some players are distracted because of that supply point take that is going pretty well in favour of Banish. If they were clever enough here, that top of the siege tower would be trebable as well. Devastral fall stays death. A few players on the side of Banish have died. We are down to 10 players alive with 15 on the defence still alive. But the supply point is still being heavily contested in the back here. Marco, Cosman, Broken Vortex all trying their best to keep, keep the supply point open up here trying to kill the heroes but lots of calf coming in from the back from Tappy. Is Tappy going to get a nice counter calf charge here in the background here? Are they going to wipe out all the f players on that supply point? No, he comes down straight on the centre and I don't think he really does much with that there. He could have went onto the supply point with the units but he's chose against it. A still being heavily defended pretty well here from Slavs. The supply point push seems to have died out there as well. Broken Vortex, one of the last players surviving there. And Gumo with the quad kill. Get in there. There's the Polax with the pod kill. B is still being taken though. Look at Legendary and Daddy Forbes is watching from above. Daddy Forbes not really helping, but Legendary almost half caps B. Well, players are distracted. And Frank is still fighting at the gate here versus Butaurus. 8 inch coming on with some cavalry, but it's literally a calf fest at the moment in the centre there. But a lot of Slav players are all over the map. But the guys are doing what they have to do on the A defence, because the A is the easiest part to defend, and you can rotate off to B with only few units left on A. As you can see, 8 inch fall stays death here. General combo picking up that kill here. We're down to 11 attackers, 15 defenders available, but are they going to be able to get the push? On to A now. If they had the units here, the push is viable. It is only ISGs at this point in time. The Treb comes in, but the Treb won't really affect anything here. Han Frank finally dies by Koako. Glaive versus Glaive. But the push is coming down the stairs. IPGs are going to have to march here to knock down the ISGs. And they are currently doing so. The push is coming in well as B is... 
getting capped in the background once again. Who is his capper in the back? It's Simka once again, the short ball. But the push is coming in really strong on Banish's favour. They have the numbers. A lot of Slavs players are off of the point. Are they going to have to come off or are they going to try and fight back with three minutes left into this battle here? They can potentially push back up and pinch the defence, uh, the attacking side here. But can they, can they do it well enough? Are they going to have the, the push and the defence for it? I think at this point in time, Slavs looks like they've got the numbers. They have a two-man advantage at the point. And we are slowly, slowly pushing the, def the attacking side back. Slavs got all of their units onto the point, ready to do this. And managed to push Banish right back. You're hearing lots of calf charges. I'm assuming that is calf outside the back here. You've got Deja Vu picking up some kills. Gumo has got the no quarter badge once again. Van Blade killing with his units. And Brito and Rotten out with their calf there. As you can see. And the push from Slavs has pushed Banis guys out. They are down to six players alive. The Treb comes in but is also a little bit too late to even deal too much major jammers. General combo as you can see defending B because B is the closest to Cap. And nobody is really pushing out to that point anymore. You've got Anne Frank here on the wall. One of the only heroes up on the wall now. Legendary, a lot of the boys from Banish are trying to go in through the gate again. Anne Frank falls his death. Kwaku once again, Glaive versus Glaive, picks up the kill on Anne Frank. You've got Bubbles in the back with his musket, trying to avoid being killed here by Suricon. But there's a couple of helpers coming to kill off Bubbles, Damian sees the opportunity, he's going to cap B in the background, can he do it once again, Koako is on the wall, he's going to have to do something fancy here, General Combo comes from the supply point, gets his units and gets back, Damian also destroying, or going back to the siege tower, but it does not look like Danished has the units, they are 379 units for 796 on the defensive slabs, no but he alive at the moment in time to even push to get their units into a position to take any of these points at this point in time. It looks like it will be defended very well here from Slavs. B was almost there. The B put was so good, but it was just so quickly disparred. Like we said, there's lots of cab, lots of stuff done in there, but the A push could have just been a little bit better. They might have had that there. Just a distraction, taking the players out and about. But as you can see, a couple of heroes live. There's 12 alive on the side of Banish, they're going to have to go for B, there is less than 40 seconds left, Broken Vortex falls to Kwaku, Kwaku is doing a major work, we see this boy killing everybody as a Glaive player, Marco picks up Ariana here, Short Sword versus Short Sword and he's on a hard trick, you have a quad kill here from Selen as well, Lauren Brooks picked up Kwaku who's been on a streak here, stopping the streak, Bornlock then falls to Selen but lots of calf coming outside here, Van Blade and Deja Vu, Doing their work, Gumo still outside here, picking up Legendary, and it's 10 seconds left. This is the push, that is the defence from Slavs. This looks like the series is going to go to 1-0 after this one. We are about to finish it up here. What a battle, what a solid strategy from Slavs on the rotation. As you can see, Daddy Forb was getting MVP on the side of Banished. Three hero kills, 85 unit kills. Quite a good amount of work there. Anne Frank was doing a lot of work back and forward, back and forward. Definitely the distraction force in the, in the in the side of things here. We did have bubbles. We did have Simka picking up some bra uh, back caps of the uh, the point along with Damian, but it wasn't enough to cap B fully. The push down to uh, to B was fantastic as well, though, but just wasn't to happen. It was not to come um, out of that. The overall battle here, as you can see, deja vu. Becomes MVP, Gumo with the six hero kills, boys. Six hero kills as a Polax. Deja Vu with the four, 159 unit kills, 164 on the side of Gumo. But that was a definitely great, solid defense from Slavs. They only left their ISGs on the point of A for the majority of that time. One of the only few units that didn't leave the point, along with Galahad, who was a longsword, making sure that that unit just did not die, did not falter. It was very good um, to give it to get out, swap your units out, get the cav out, strong defense, a very, very strong effort, guys. That was solid, uh, and we're going to see what you guys can do now on the attack. It is going to be Slavs on the attack for the next round.